Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk to you about what's coming up over the next year to two years. And the topic of this is the life you might have had versus the life you will have and are meant to have. So how many people have been feeling like it's this is just an endless rolling Groundhog Day? Uh, like a, that film, Groundhog's Day, where you're just repeating things, there's no joy in it, and it's starting to add up here. Not only that you're getting tired of it, you're feeling a bit maybe ill, and um, you know, you it's discouraging because you might feel like I don't just don't want to do this anymore. There is a light at the end of the tunnel about this though, but there's a thing you need to know. It's time. It's actually time to actually start applying the real things that really will make sense and will make a dent for you and make a difference. And that is your twin flame body. So I'm here to kick a little butt because it's actually time for people to stop putting off the things that they have even known of for a while. So let's talk first about... Um, chronic things, okay, chronic things that everybody lives with, and yet it's not really your normal, it isn't normal to have these things, okay, chronic anger, chronic fatigue, chronic fibromyalgia, chronic um, conditions of addictions, okay, those things that cycle and cycle and cycle. So with the Lionsgate in 2018, this is when it became possible to bring the beginning of the end, so as they say, from every beginning's end comes a new beginning. That is when the life you might have had began to shift. And that is a part of the shift, is shifting people away from things that, even if it seems manageable, it's not your new normal, and it's not normal. So levels of health that, you know, You've only maybe dreamed of, and this goes way beyond health. This goes to really feeling passionately in love and not feeling discouraged, not feeling trod upon, like someone has somehow denigrated you, kicked you to the curb. You have to chase them or elicit an answer from them. Why? Why? And, you know, why do we put ourselves down like that? Well, it's actually very much a part of hunter energy, and mammals are hunters. And to a degree, hunting and chasing are part of the makeup of people. It's just there, or being hunted, or being the prey. It's just lingered way too long. But these are things that have made people sick and have led to chronic conditions because it is exhausting. If there is someone who is chasing something on one side, the other person gets exhausted. And this is where, as we go along here from year 2018, where it already started, and this is a window through 2021, people can begin to really see, identify, and release these things that nobody really has been able to before. Why? Partly because it's buried. It's buried very deeply in our makeup. It's part of patterns, relationship patterns. Being sick has been a part of it. Being ill, chronic conditions, like I say, like chronic respiratory conditions, chronic heart conditions. How about all of the dead ends? Are you feeling as though things that you come up against have led you to a dead end of some sort? A dead-end job, a dead-end family situation, a dead-end relationship. Somehow things just not are not livening up. They feel dead. The connections go dead. It's like having the line go dead where something is just, there it is. It's just gone. You're not even getting a busy signal. Infidelities, these make people more sick than we actually realize because it affects the emotional side of you, the mental side of you, and can be other types too. 
emotional infidelity, other types of things where people are disloyal or unsupportive that lead to these things or have been caused by these things, okay? The life you might have had doesn't in, should not include these, should they? Should they? The life that you and your true love that are trying to create, including family karma. What about family karma? Well, these are family patterns, how people have relationships, the relationships that have been uh, exhibited to you or to your true other half, and, you know, how do they navigate in the world? Have they had good examples? Have they had bad examples? A lot of people have bad examples. We're here to fix all that stuff. But it needs to fix with you first. Let's talk a little bit about the life you will have. And this is intended to be phased in from your 2020 through 2022 through a series of getting your twin flame body ready. Now that is what I'm here to teach about. This is what I help people with during sessions, workshops, online webinars. Every way that I can think of to help people is what I'll be doing here. And yes, I am available for one-on-one -on -one sessions. And there's no waiting list. Why wait? 2020 is here already. The life you will have will make it easy easy to purge and truly let it go and let it out of you. So if there's things that you need to actually get rid of or things that have been troubling you or things that you have had shown to you in a dream or things that you've seen that you wish you hadn't have seen or even things that you're sensing, let's get rid of it. Let's get you to purge it out. And, you know, I have to use the word purge because that is actually what happens. You purge and you heal and you purge and you heal. This is the topic of many of my books to tell you how to go through it easily. My online webinar and classes. And in our one-on-one -on -one session, this is what I also help people with. We want to get this moving and shifted as swiftly as possible without a lot of preamble and within just, you know, a few minutes, the person's high heart energy opens up where I feel where we need to start shifting some things. And it is a true shift because we want to throw away the heaviness of all this stuff. I mean, there's much more than this. I, you know, there's much more than this, but these are some of the buttons that create heaviness in a person's life. They keep them like spinning in circles, like they're chasing their tail with this stuff. And I'm here to tell you that the days are gone when you cannot address something about your body because it will come up one way or another. It either comes up where it's a physical condition now, by the time the metaphysical is not addressed, it becomes a physical condition. And then even if it gets addressed physically, you still have to address the aftercare. So that is also what I do teach. I teach about the twin flame body and maintaining. Get rid of and fully detach yourself from trauma because your higher self and the love that you are does not want to drag around traumatic, dramatic, cataclysmic experiences. No more drama. Enough of the man drama, enough of the woman drama, enough of the, you know, hunting and hurting and rejecting and wounding, all of this stuff. Let's get rid of and fully detach that. Let's get you to where you are living above the karma. This is your new normal, where you have a new normal level of living. And even if you see things or you see things around in your neighborhood on the media, it has no bearing on your twin flame union because it won't impact you. You might not like to see it or hear about it, but it won't directly affect you. And this is the key is getting yourself to transcend these things that have continued to happen in the past and just been an endless cycle, endless cycle, endless cycle.
Would you like to be free of addictions and chronic conditions? Okay, and sometimes these are like the chicken in the end. Which came first? Did the addiction make a chronic condition? Did a chronic condition make someone addicted because they got something and it becomes this vicious cycle? How would you like to break the cycles? Because your light body, your twin flame body, and your twin flame do not want to carry these things around. The higher part of you really doesn't want to carry these things around or be pulled down by it. And yeah, can you have a pulling down effect now. This is why sometimes people will say, you know, I used to do this, but now it's not working for me anymore. Or I feel like I'm allergic to alcohol. And yeah, can really feel like that because you are. And you're allergic to other people too. Other people have made us sick. Other people have made us ill. Other people have been a dead end sometimes. And even if you don't remember, your body does and wants those types of things out. Everybody out. Everybody and everything gets ordered out. So you're actually here um, where you have a little bit of a window. It may not take this long. It may take some people up until 2024. There are people that don't really understand what all this is about, and yet things will keep happening to the body. It will happen to the people closest to you because as family karma leaves you, it begins to upset your children too. And it's important to know that your kids, yeah, they're a part of your family. They're also a part of your twin flames family, whether or not they've ever met that person. So you have double whammy of karma. You've got karma from this side. You've got karma from that side plus the biological parent. That's a lot for a kid. And so family karma is, you know, this is why I put this here. Repeat stuff from families, the things that have made families sick, the patterns that families perpetuate, the um, levels of living that sometimes people have felt stuck in. And this is more prevalent in some cultures than in other cultures. What else do I have going on? Well, this is a year to look forward to because it's going to be something where some of this is no longer waiting. And when you've had a year of, you know, saying, you know what, um, I started this way back when, or I started in, you know, 2015, 2012, 2000, whatever, 1968, 1978, 19... 87, you know, whatever it was when you started, okay, it's the same for everyone. We could really only begin to truly close the door in 2018 because that was when the opportunity existed for beginning to integrate your new twin flame body. What do you have to look forward to? Oh, there's a lot to look forward to. There is really deep passion because as deep as some of these wounds have gone in, when you get that out, that's how deep the love can go. You're only at the tip of the iceberg for feeling some of the passionate, high-level experiences that I actually help people to get to. There is a level of living for you that you can't really tell by looking at someone of what they might ex be experiencing in their own home, in their own uh, body, with their own connections. There's not only deep passion, but there's such a sweetness and a purity to this level of love, and yet there's definitely a maturity with it. But the kind of thing that happens with, you know, just long-term growth, where it's like, Something is fully ripened and ready and accepting and ready to be responsible and accountable. I myself have been experiencing this and it's part of what I feel I'm tasked with is to help people so that you can experience it. So you can lift off the heaviness so that you can get rid of things that really have no uh, relevance for you anymore. It's not important that you carry some of this stuff forward. It is important that you fully are here to love. 
that you are fit for love because that is what you're really here for. You get to have a brand new fresh start that actually feels new and fresh and loving and supportive and very divine and sacred. Do you know how to draw in masculine energy so that you can affect some of these things? I know how to help you do that. So if you're feeling unsupported, unloved, you're wondering, and you're trying to see your way to, you know, the end of this stuff, let's make it easy for you. What are some of the other things to know about? Well, as you move forward, this is about new ways of relating um, to your true love for sure. Because the part of you that you do open enables you to communicate without words, without sound sometimes, where you get each other. Where not only is it like you get each other, but you're so into each other. You anticipate things about each other. And it's really delightful. And the only thing I've ever had to go by is my twin flame body. So I am here to tell you that, yes, there is more. You don't have to um, be discouraged. Don't feel like you're hitting a wall. Feel like you're ready for starting up at the beginning with new ways, your new connections, and a boost of love. Now, to further help you with that, I will be in New York. I will be in New York on January 18th and 19th. I am doing a Twin Flame conference and workshop with Adam. It will be Patricia and Adam. Adam Namaste. And here I wrote this a little bit bigger. Okay. We're going to be in Manhattan. And I very much like Manhattan. I haven't been there in a while. But I look forward to being here, to creating some synergism that really ripples it out because Twin Flame Love is what helps other people pop open and uh, start ascending. And yet, you don't even have to touch someone. We're going to be talking about several topics. And bring your questions. Bring yourself. BYOB. Bring your own body to our Twin Flame Conference workshop and have a good time. Have a good time finding out and feeling, you know, what is this and more, okay? Because this is not, this is not ascension from years past. This is a full lighting up of your brand new body and it is delightful beyond words. It's passionate beyond words and you just got experience. So I hope to see you there. Look at the links below. You'll find um, links where you can contact me, where you can uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one session. Don't wait, okay? We're on the cusp here, so why not get rolling with it? You're in great timing. And you can join the conference. There is a reserve your spot link, or you can just um, order it. If you have questions, you can email myself at twinflamebody at gmail.com or twinflamesmerge at gmail.com or Adam Namaste. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember that your twin flame may be feeling some of these things also. They may be feeling discouraged. They may be wondering what is it that they're missing? Why are these things happening in their lives? You may just be pausing in the action here so that you can help them and help yourself. Because when you help you, you help your true love. And that's always how unconditional love is. Help yourself to help each other. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.